from the DNN headquarters in Kingston, New York, this is the Dahl News Network Show with Robert Tomlin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Good, ev- good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of DNN. Tonight, DNN's exclusive investigative report, Nursery Rhymes, the real story behind childhood's favorite tales. And coming up later in business news, customers mob a New Jersey retailer who offer iPads at an extremely discounted price. Now let's get right to it. With me tonight is investigative reporter Sharon Sarkoff. Welcome, Sharon. Thanks. Uh, Sharon, the real story behind classic nursery rhymes, are, are they really as innocent as they seem, or is there something more sinister at play? Good question, Robert. Thank you. Yes, there indeed does seem to be something not quite right about those nursery rhymes. Let's take a look at the innocuous rhyme, Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater. The story is a familiar one. Man has wife, man can't control wife, so man puts wife in a pumpkin shell. (laughs) We've all been there. We have an exclusive DNN photo. However, the story does not end there. Miss Pumpkin Eater was soon meeting with a renowned nursery rhyme lawyer and was eventually awarded not only the pumpkin, but the whole pumpkin patch as well in the divorce settlement. That, however, was not the end of the story. Sadly enough, the story ended with a homicide, and a particularly gruesome one at that. And Robert, let's look at yet another seemingly mundane rhyme, the holiday classic, Little Jack Horner. We all know the story. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, pulled out a plum, and said, what a good boy am I. Again, I'm sorry to report it didn't end quite so well. It turned out that the plum was rancid, and shortly after, Jack Horner died of severe gas. What an explosive story that was, Robert. Two rhymes, two horrible deaths. Could there be a pattern? My investigative team thought there might be. Could one of the most renowned nursery rhymes, Rockabye Baby, be just a sweet lullaby, you ask? Or could there be something darker here, too? It seemed innocent enough, rockabye baby in the treetops, when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. We all know the rhyme. But our question, what happened to the baby once the bow broke? We have exclusive DNN pictures from what turned out to be a crime scene. A warning, the following photos are not for the impressionable viewer. Just terrible. And yet, there's more. Remember Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall? Humpty Dumpty had a great fall? Well, I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Medics on the scene made it clear to our reporters that there was no putting Humpty Dumpty back together again, just like the rhyme said. Another good egg gone bad. Is it cracked or scrambled? Our intensive investigation dug deeper and discovered more evidence. We've all heard the story of Little Miss Muffet, a lonely girl minding her own business, eating her lunch. Reportedly, it was curds and whey, yogurt, no one is really sure, when a talking spider sat down beside her. Contrary to reports, she was not scared away. I'm afraid it was much more gruesome than that. A crime spun out of control. And finally, one of the most disturbing endings to a supposed children's rhyme, we look at Jack Be Nimble. What was considered a simple tale of a young boy out for a little exercise ended up being a cautionary tale about playing with fire and maybe more. Contrary to previous reports, Jack really never made it over the candle. That's the results of the burning questions we ask about these nursery rhymes. And now, back to you, Robert. Wow, Sharon, I had, I had no idea. You grow up hearing these stories all the time. Uh, let me ask you this. Is the investigation going on? Is, any, uh, is, is there any more police activity yeah, around yeah, this? Yeah, that's a very good question. The investigation continues. There has been another nursery rhyme crime scene. And we have found a group of police 
singing Ring Around the Rosie and putting strange things in their pockets. Really? We're, really? we're investigating that further. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Good work. Thank Great you. work, Sharon. Thank you very much. And finally, in business news, a New Jersey store was mobbed today when they advertised the popular iPad for half price. We have an exclusive DNN picture of one lucky customer. And that's it for tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us. Uh, good night and good news. <laughs>